Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Gian and welcome back to another mukbang video and today is Friday It's January 19th, about 48, so it's lunchtime. So so what's in front of me is, is a Filipino dish. So Here's my main dish for today. It's the sinigang na isda. So sinigang is basically any food or meat that has a sour tamarind base to it. So this is actually a red snapper that's a red snapper so it's a whole red snapper so what's in this dish is this red snapper then it has tomatoes onion and then this is these vegetables is bok choy so what I did first is I actually seared it first uh, in a pan with a little oil and I do that because if you want to get rid of the fishy taste of the fish, uh, if you are planning to make it like a siligang like this, uh, you have to sear it first so you know you get rid of uh, some of those fishy taste. I put water in a pot with a with onion, tomatoes, the tamarind soup base. This is actually the tamarind soup base that I use. So. You know, you can adjust the sourness. It depends on how tangy or sour you want your sinigang to be. And then I boil that tomatoes and onions and then uh, put the sinigang mix and I actually use fish sauce for taste instead of just a regular salt because that's going to give you a better uh, taste of the sinigang. And then I finish it with the bok choy and I got I put four chili. So that's it. It's very simple to do. And it has sour, it has a nice sour uh, soup base in it. So I love sinigang. You can make pork sinigang, beef sinigang, fish sinigang. I mean, sinigang is universal, it's life. And then I have here a lumpia. So lumpia is it's like uh, the spring rolls, yeah. But this is more like Filipino. So I made this like the other night. So what's in lumpia is basically just ground pork carrots, onion, celery, or kinchai, and then egg, then put pepper and salt, mix them all together, and then wrap this in this lumpia wrapper, and then fry it. Like, can you hear how crispy that is? Crispy, doesn't it? And then of course, staple, rice. You have to have rice. And then I have a separate uh, soup. It's the same soup uh, with this fish. I just put it in another small bowl. And then I have coconut juice, honey. Love it so much. Let's start it! So I wanna taste this um, fish first. So I got this first in an Asian uh, supermarket. And this whole fish actually just cost me $8.75. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. And it's not frozen. This was fresh fish. Mmm. And, and actually the trick in uh, Sinigang is to smash the, the tomatoes so you will get the flavor of, of the tomatoes mixed with the soup. So I actually like smashed them, but not really mashed thoroughly, but yeah. Mm. So how you eat sinigang, you get a fish meat, put it in your rice, put some soup in your rice, get a little of the tomatoes, ah, onion, and then the bok choy, we want more. Then scoop it out with some rice. Scoop it out with some rice. Then, mmm, 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 mmm. It's been a while since I had a sinigang fish. So. So 
So I think this is my second Filipino dish mukbang or you know eating video. Ooh. And if you guys want me to and let me know guys what other food you want me to eat. It don't need to be just Filipino. You know, because I cook. I try my best. And if you want me to if you want to see me try any kind of food, you know, if I can make it, I will make it. And then just let me know in the comment box down below. Mm. But if you are a Filipino and you like Sinigang, you know how good it is. Mm. I know most of you guys will gross out if I tell you this, but most of the Filipinos, especially my mom, that she she eat the like the sing, even the smallest single meat in the head. And you know what's the best? I see these eyeballs. That's the eyeball. I have the very one right here, like that eyeballs right there. That one. Gross, right? And then you spit like the center or the core of the eye. I don't know what that's called, what you call that, but yeah. Because this one is really hard, it's like marble. Like you can't really chew it. It's really hard. I mean, I think you, you can try it, but yeah, it's really hard. So let's try the lumpia. Lumpia. Woo, lumpia. This one is really crispy. Here, listen. Mm. And it's actually good if you dip it in a sweet and sour chili sauce. And you can also do ketchup, you can also do ranch, but my favorite is to dip it with sweet and sour chili sauce. That's just the best. And actually, deep fried food is so good combination with the sinigang because you have the the uh, sour base soup, and then you eat it with something uh, crunchy and salty. Oh my god, that's really good! Just like this. Mm. <laughs> Got more vegetables. A little more fish. This fish, this fish may look big, but I can eat it all by myself. Mm. I really, really miss Senegal is that. I actually like my sinigam uh, a little bit uh, like spicy, but this chili that I got here, it's it's not really hot. It's not really hot because like I put four of those and it don't do anything with the soup. My soup, it's not even don't even have a hint of chili in it. Ooh, look at that meat, huh? <laughs> Meat, protein. More vegetables. Mm. 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 And then this is how you sip the sinigang soup. Straight from the bowl, just like what Japanese do. Oh god. Dream come true. And with this Sinigang Neisda, you can 
you can use any kind of fish that you want um, like really like whatever kind of fish that you want you can make it you can use it for sinigang like in the Philippines we have a uh, most popular fish for sinigang are uh, this or the dalagang bukid or uh, milkfish and tilapia those are uh, popular fish for sinigang but <coughs> sorry but you can use other fish if you want and that goes the same thing with the lumpia I use pork but I know some people use beef or or ground chicken or if you want turkey if you want to get fancy then you can use ground turkey yeah so yeah Filipino food are not really complicated and you can always use other main ingredient if you don't have it so when you're eating fish you can't help but use your finger because there's some meat in there that you want to get and eat because you don't want to waste those meat fish all right I actually have a video of me making the sinigang na baboy and if you haven't watched that I will put the link up here or the description box down below and check that out guys so you know how exactly to make the sinigang I love 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 fish I love fish more than I like uh, pork or chicken or beef Like, oh my god, I got, I got a bite of that chili, oh. It's not really spicy, but when you eat it as it, it is. Coconut juice, not sponsored. finish half of the fish and there's actually meat in that chick see this meat fish chicks meat mm -hmm. I'm eating this see that's why you need to use your hand because there's like some meat around the head that you can still dig in and eat and you don't want to waste that at least for me I don't want to waste it ah let's open the belly you just have to be careful with the uh, bones because like the belly part there's like uh, tiny bones uh, buried in the meat so you have to make sure that you watch out for those bones because it's, it's gonna get stuck in your um, throat and it's not the best feeling when it happens mm. 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 
See, there's a bone stuck in between my teeth. Shall we flip this? We shall. One, two, one, two, three. Ah there. I actually don't eat these tomatoes. Mm. Video is already long and I don't want to bore you guys so um, I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna finish my lumbia and Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video, maybe another mukbang video, I don't know yet, but I'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching, bye! Beer.